Hello everybody, it's Jonathan, Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome. Today, I offer you another video post, another outdoor kitchen analysis on a job that we did, and hopefully this will uh, help you as you plan your outdoor, uh, outdoor kitchen project. In this particular job, uh, which was situated in Pelham Manor, Westchester County, um, it has a combination of products. The island structure is from Denver with the uh, Denver Brown Jordan uh, cabinets. Um, they also used Alfresco cooking products, a Marvel outdoor refrigerator, as well as an Alpha 4 pizza oven, a wood-burning pizza oven. So let's, uh, let's break this thing down. Um, the island itself, if I remember correctly, is 16 feet straight run, um, working from left to right. Looking at the picture, you have an Alfresco ALXE 36 grill. You have an Alfresco AXE VP power burner. You have the Alfresco AGBC 30 sink slash beverage center slash bartending station. Then we have the Marvell 24 inch refrigerator drawers. And then finally at the end, he has the Alpha 4 pizza oven on the countertop. As I stated, the, um, the cabinets are from Denver Brown Jordan. I believe the color used here is um, uh, Hammer Tone which uh, we found is one of the more popular ones. And he used a decked in countertop, which was a very smart idea, considering that this island is completely exposed, southern exposure, sun pounding all afternoon, the decked in countertop will stay cool to touch. Great idea. Um, if you actually pull the camera back, you will see that there is another island. This one we did not handle. Um, it's this island made of masonry, um, and he also has a wood pergola running along the top of it. That's the seating area um, uh, for guests. So the way to look at these two islands, the one that we did uh, with the Danver and the cooking product, that's going to be the, uh, the production area, so to speak. They're gonna do all their cooking and plating on there, and everybody's hanging out at the, uh, the other island waiting, uh, waiting to eat. So let's talk about um, pros and cons of this, uh, of this setup. Uh, the pros. First of all, the design, the aesthetic is completely out of this world. Um, uh, the island is, I mean, when I, when I got the first picture sent to me, I was just stunned at how beautiful it came out. Um, the, color, the color choices uh, just worked out beautifully. And then if you look at the other island, um, which again combines the stone with the wood pergola, giving a very Tuscan feel um, to the setup, um, they just made completely uh, all-star choices in terms of, of, of the design. Uh, and, and again, with the island, uh, there's no better combination than the decked and countertops with the Danver. They, just, they blend seamlessly. Um, I also like the fact that in this setup, um, he can basically cook in any way that he wants. Uh, the gas grill from Alfresco, obviously convenient gas cooking. Could always drop in the solid fuel insert and cook with wood or, you know, wood or charcoal. He's got his power burner there also. The power burner is going to provide the opportunity. You can throw a teppanyaki on there and turn it into a big griddle for fajitas, breakfast, um, smash burgers, etc. cetera. Um, if you want to do clam bakes, any really large oversized cooking vessel works perfectly with that burner. And then of course the pizza oven, it's a wood burner. Um, I mean, the alpha oven that I've used, I don't really even make pizzas on and I do a lot of cast iron skillet cooking. So he has everything covered in that 16 feet. Um, the refrigerator drawers, he went with those because this was going to be a very beverage intensive setup. He has another refrigerator nearby in the house. So he figured he wanted to be heavy on the beverages outside and quite frankly, refrigerator drawers are better than a single door refrigerator when it comes to taking beverages out. Um, and then you have the sink beverage center bartending station, which when that thing is set up, it's like the, uh, the, 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 uh, ideal bartending station. Um, uh, so a lot of fun can be had with that. Now, um, I really had to dig deep, try to find any cons with this setup. There aren't many, but um, this is what I came up with, what I would have done differently. Uh, number one, I would have dropped the power burner down about six to eight inches. I don't really like the power burners um, at countertop height. I do understand, again, from a design, you know, an aesthetic standpoint, it's a continuous line across the counter, but knowing the way that this guy cooks with the very heavy 
pots that he's going to be using for things like clam bakes, sauces, boiling, you know, he's going to boil water on there. Um, it's better to have the power burner drop down six to eight inches so those heavy pots are much easier to handle. So I would have done that. I also don't think there's enough countertop space on here. Um, part in, uh, part That's partially due to the fact that the Alpha 4 pizza oven is on the counter. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but what I would have probably done, that AGB 30 sink is huge. I probably would have taken the sink from 30 inches down to 24. I give myself another six inches of countertop space. And then there's just more room to play over there, particularly when plating food and taking it off to your friends and family that are sitting at the other island. Um, um, also playing into that, the Alpha 4 pizza oven, it has been very, I can't think of many instances where we've sold a countertop version of that. It's a very big oven. I think it's about 40 inches wide. It's deep. Most people with the Alpha 4 will put that on a stand or cart. Um, and if you're going to do a countertop Alpha, the 5 Minuti or the 1 are the more popular ones to go with. So if he took that Alpha 4 pizza oven and he put it on a cart, then the whole countertop thing is taken care of. He's got ample room. Um, the other thing is, is that, you know, that I would have, you know, tried to rework is that because they're going to they're gonna cook so much, um, his back is going to be facing all the folks sitting at the island um, that's behind it. So, and you can see that set up again in the other picture. So this doesn't really... Um, lend itself well to the whole aspect of, um, of the social grilling uh, paradigm that we try to promote over here. Um, knowing how much, again, he's not just going to throw hot dogs and hamburger buns, hamburgers on there and then voila, he's done. He is going to be cooking, quite frankly, for probably a while with his back turned to everybody at the party. So, uh, and there aren't really places to hang out around the grill area to chat and commiserate um, while he's cooking. So it doesn't really lend itself to the social grilling um, aspect. But um, again, we'll, we can overlook that. This is one of the most beautiful islands that we've been involved with. A totally kick-ass job. Um, and kudos to them. I know the family well. I know they're going to have a, a, a blast using this um, over the years. We're here to help you. Any questions? Hit us up, email questions at rofgirls.com. Call us, 914-361-1837. Make an appointment, come in, and let us help you realize your dream, your vision for your outdoor space. Thank you.